Well, it was probably the best junior team in history. That's what, what's what it's, uh, I keep uh, arguing with Leaf players that I think won it uh, uh, earlier that were Marley's. I, know, I remember having a big argument with Harry Neal about it. But I'm um, still, you know, we lost eight games that year uh, and won the final of the Memorial Cup 9-1. So, I mean, I thought that was uh, uh, probably the best, the best team. The 75 team was the highest scoring team. I mean, uh, ever, I think 436 goals or something we scored. So it was quite crazy. Dion had gone to Quebec and you know, and had the big schmozzle with the 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 fans and everything there uh, before, and when St. Catharines was in it. But I thought that was 70, 71. This is 72, 73, uh, and it might have been the first year of the tournament. The Memorial Cup was a big deal. We used to get as much print as the Leafs when we were in the in the in the papers. It was only the Toronto Star and the World Mail. The Sun came. It was it was really brand new at, at that point in 75. Uh, I don't think the sun was even uh, around in 72. But uh, and on Sunday's uh, edition, it was all about the Leafs playing Saturday night. On Monday's edition, it was all about the Marlies playing Sunday. So it, it was uh, it was it was a really big deal. And with, on every Sunday, we put over 10,000 people in the gardens, which was again another uh, pretty big deal. It was cool. But uh, uh, it was probably a detriment when it came to me going to class. Because, I mean, we'd just uh, hang out in the cafeteria. Because once you uh, were there, I think every boy's dream that is uh, that loves hockey is to be in the NHL. And I just thought, oh, I'm going to be in the NHL. What do I need school for? Which was a mistake. Well, the, you, you always think that, oh, my God, were we good enough, you know, when... I mean, uh, we beat a great Peterborough team to get to the Memorial Cup the first year. And uh, uh, we always end up playing the first game so you don't get a chance to watch, which is sort of uh, good and bad. And uh, we beat Quebec. Um, I wouldn't say easy, but uh, it, you know, it, it, we'd had tougher games. And then when we, uh, the second game, Medicine Hat beat us and they had Lanny McDonald and Tom Lysiak and a bunch of real tough kids from out west. And they beat us three to two, I believe. And we thought we'd play them in the finals. And uh, lo and behold, Quebec beat them. And then we beat Quebec 9-1 in the finals. We had enough adversity in 75. We win the playoffs. We faced elimination seven times and won all seven games. I mean, uh, uh, we played the eighth place team in Kingston and we took them to eight games. We had to win in Kingston. Uh, we went to Sudbury, or they came to us, and uh, we played them, and it went to eight games, and John uh, Anderson had to score in overtime in the eighth game to win it. Then we played Hamilton, and we beat them in seven games. So adversity wasn't the problem. Um, we, used to, we were just a bunch of kids. We took everything so lightly, and uh, we, when we bared down, we were pretty good. But uh, we were... Uh, was, weren't the, the serious uh, Jonathan Taves type players uh, every night there. So, I mean, I think uh, the first game there, we beat Sherbrooke 5-4 in overtime. Then we lost 7-3, I think, or 6-2 to New West. And uh, then we won 10-4 against Sherbrooke and 7-3 the last two, you know, the last two games. So it, we still scored 17 goals in the last two goals two games uh, we had seven 40 goal scorers and one guy with 38 goals so I mean it wasn't like uh, uh, we couldn't score I mean we were a pretty dynamic offensive team back then I was minus one I keep telling everybody scored five goals and I was minus one go figure I missed two games uh, I think and I, I fell on George Armstrong's skate uh, behind the net in, in a practice. And I was lucky that it just, but it, it was closed and I had double vision and this was before the shields were up and the, and everything else. I was a little worried, but, uh, 
Um, I played with a full face cage on the whole playoffs, which I think hampered, it, it hampered me a little bit, but uh, it's still, it was, uh, I got lucky, you know, if that was my worst injury, then that's good. You know, I remember carrying the cup. And I remember um, uh, when and then I thought this was supposed to be what you do all the time. I think we would have won it the year before too, but we lost uh, Mark and Marty Howe and Tom Edger and Wayne Dillon and somebody else to the to 18 and under to the WHA and the, and, uh, and and or those five guys adding with the group that we had gotten. Uh, I think we would have won three in a row, but uh, we'd won all, all along, midget, junior B, everything else. So I didn't think that uh, this was going to stop. I thought this was the way it's supposed to be. You just go out and you win championships every year. Little did I realize how difficult it was. And since that time, I've been lucky enough to be on a, on a few, but that's spanning over four years. Well, I mean, it still apply a lot of stuff from George Armstrong as a coach, um, his methods, his communication, uh, the, the ta uh, talents, you know. Uh, you'd like to, on a team, be able to have the balance that we had every year. I mean, uh, the first team, the 72 team, we had, we were very, very deep. Um, and the, and the, the Marley team at 75, it was just a scoring machine. So it, what I've learned as a coach is, is, is if you can get four line balance, that's uh, uh, you're way ahead of the game.